everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. Where am I today? Well, if we take a little spin around behind me, I've got the wonderful Tina Wallace here. And today we are at Hoys, yay! Horse of the Year show. Now the last time I, I came to, to AKA Horse yeah, <laughs> the last time I came to Hoys was a few years ago now, and I was actually working on the Fairfax and Favour stand. But today, well, we've been invited to take you guys you. round with us. We need to go in now, so we'll see you inside. We didn't actually get the. We didn't actually get mum's yeah. name. <laughs> and uh, now From we are. Can we ask a question? HBS. Getting yeah. selfie. Yeah, there we go. We're having pictures on this. And guys, look. Pause and country to swipe up. If anyone hasn't seen swipe up, kick on. Then that's where you watch it. There. That's the place right to be, there. mama. Lucy can't actually read, but if you guys can read that out, that's fine. H C. H C plus. You can watch it. H H. H. Charlotte, who is taking the tour, and the giveaway winner, Sophie. 
and her family who have come to yeah see the behind the scenes of this fantastic horse show and so far we've done a bit we've gone inside now we're outside now we're walking around the stables <laughs> and uh, it's actually really interesting to see the amount of work that goes into a show like this and uh, it's fascinating so we're just coming up to the pony club stables which are apparently the ones to see because oh yeah Oh wow, they are tidy. They are so tidy. <laughs> That's amazing. This is my kind of yard. Bag of bed mat. You're sleeping. Oh, you're so sleepy. Oh, wow. This is, yeah, the dream. The dream. So stable name is Big Red, but his name is Perseus. Oh, wow. How old? Yeah, how old is he? Yeah, he's already okay with the drums. Yeah, yeah he's doing really well actually. He's uh, about like, about two months ago. He if we bang the drum on, he would just freak out. So he's just doing so well. He's been throwing in the deep end. Oh, really wow. is... People used to fire from horseback as well, so <laughs> we've still got like all the old really? manuals where you teach you how to hold your reins, loop your reins, free oh, really? arms, and then grab it. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I literally even thought it was We're still, we're still <laughs> learning, we're still teaching. Um, <laughs> yeah. Some of ours, if you've ever seen Skillet Arms, um, it's like your sword lance revolver, 10 pegging. Um, so we do that as well, so we 10 peg, uh, jump, Stab a dummy and then come yeah. back over a revolver and shoot a target. Wow. Normal wow. over really? a jump. Yeah. I've only been riding four years. Really? That's yeah. mad. He got, his table name was Big Red, and then we've got another red one in. Oh, really? Bigger, <laughs> like, bigger, bigger, bigger Red. Bigger Red, yeah, that's yeah. what we used to call him. Got big Red, Bigger Red. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Big red. Then you have Biggest Red one day, I'm sure. Yeah, there's a, a London Pale. Which is not ideal because a lot before we started getting women into the regiment, everyone was men. Yeah. And then once you've got your kit on, it adds four stones to you. Yeah, well, um, wow. including oh, saddles, oh, helmets, um, sheepskins. So they need they to be, need to be well built. Yeah, yeah. Um, traditionally, there used to be a lot more. So they're all Irish draft cross thoroughbreds. Yeah. Um, typically now, because the way that the equine world's going, everyone wants to have the next best show jumper. Everyone wants to have the next best stress agiles. So we tend to go a little bit more thoroughbred nowadays, okay. but. Still, we try and get sort of that um, that more of a, a draft in them, so they've, yeah. so they've got that yeah. that thick build. The Blues and Royals generally tend to have the more cobbier ones, whereas the Lifeguards tend to have the more finer horses. Yeah. I don't know why; it's just a tradition that somehow come out of nowhere yeah. and stuck. So they've got to be at least 16 free, black, um, or as close to black as possible. 
they can have socks as long as they're not full stockings. Um, so they can have socks on. Um, they can have socks on. <laughs> typically, our officers' horses, our chargers, they've got to be all black. Yeah. They're normally the bigger horses as well. And then the greys are our trumpeters, which we tend to have six per squadron. Yeah. So there's plenty of spurs. And then our drum horses, it doesn't really matter what colour they are as long as they're, 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 big, as they're, big, they're big solid. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can ride them with your feet. <laughs> The lifeguards will have the white plume, blues with the red, and you'll notice that the lifeguards will have, a, we call it an onion at the top of their plume. That was um, from when there was two regiments of lifeguards, so the first lifeguards would have an onion, um, just to denote the two different regiments, but they've kept it, now there's only one. Um, the two differences with the pack in then, so the lifeguards again will have the white, and the blues and rolls will have the black. Um, this was the sort of protection as well during when we used to ride into battle so it used to sort of protect the leg. Also um, looks very comfortable. Yeah, it, looks yeah, yeah. it does make those saddles yeah. comfortable. Yeah. It makes the old saddles a lot comfortable. comfortable it also is it's so supposed to like represent obviously when you went into battle everything you had like your personal belongings were you and your horse. Yeah. So that would normally be like your bed roll like rolled up oh, wow. like in the front wow. and then you rode with it. Yeah, yeah. And then you'd like to take it off. So yeah. it's everything that we wear and use is like it's actually has a pu has yeah, a purpose, purpose in it. Yeah. Or, or yeah, it did, it did. have a purpose. Yeah. Oh. So we call these jack boots. Um, so we basically pile them with wax and sink the wax in so it makes it uh, easier to polish and shine. Um, and they also, if you see, when you're on top of the horse, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, it, it was it to protect so your legs yeah. battle, from sword blows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're quite heavy as well, if you want to feel. Yeah. Take a few. They're very uncomfortable, <laughs> and they're not the most comfortable. Uh, oh, well. that's one oh boot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think they said they're an extra four stone. Yeah. Yeah, so wow. the saddle uh, helmet's wow. 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 is packing <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I bet this feels so good taking this off for the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> exactly. I bet you're like, wow, these are a lot lighter freedom. than they used to be. Uh, it, we have the Peninsula Brass from the Battle of Waterloo, so it's sort of like a battle honour, as wow. well as on the chess place as well. That's yeah. fun, that's yeah. the right chain. That's the right chain that goes round. Oh yeah, this is heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to feel how heavy that is, like on the horse's head? Oh my god. What? Right, you're taking the weight. I can see why you, um, <laughs> why you big horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Can't be taking twenty ponies around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, back in regimental duties every day, uh, the troopers would clean all of this, and then they're marked by the point system. So um, they get a point for sort of each leather brass. Mm. Um, two points for the cleanliness of that and how shiny it is. Who gets the most time on that Yeah, and it's basically whoever gets the higher points gets the sort of the better guards so the better hours. So yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And then, so it's worth putting the extra effort. Yeah. yeah. It is. Wow, that's good. Like we've all got to step back. Yeah. <laughs> Super. Okay, <laughs> Clarissa, who's the tiniest little pony. Oh, she's very cute. And uh, these guys are doing the musical ride, but look at this. Look at this. Obviously, they're not, they're in their downtime at the moment, so they will be spruced up later. Um, yeah, it's so lovely to meet all these guys. So, we're about to have a picture with the East Cheshire Pony Club. Sounds like I'm a horse. Very, I'm very quiet. Meg's, Meg's turned into a horse, really? and uh, yeah, it's been amazing. It's, we've literally had the best time. It's been so lovely to meet lots of lovely lots people. Of, as yeah, well. I was so say many familiar faces, but yeah, they're not that familiar. No, they're not. See you under a riding hat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's been so nice to meet people. Had a great time round the stand. Actually, hello, and yeah. that's for a photo. Quite yeah, often they're not. Emily's just yeah. said 
thank you to the people who've been brave enough to come up to us and ask for a photo. When I was a child, I would have never walked up to someone and said, no. can I have a photo please? I was so shy. So big pats off to you guys for doing that. That's really great. Um, but I, we're here, Meg and I are about to get the shuttle back. Yay, to, more shuttling. More shuttling to the hotel and then yeah. So if you guys fancy a trip to Hoy's next year, 2022. 10 out of 10 would recommend again. We would <laughs> definitely recommend again. Uh, but in the meantime, if you want to see more action from possibly more events that we do together, make sure you subscribe to my channel and Meg's. And Emily's as well. And Tina's. But and she's, Tina's she's gone. Tina's gone. <laughs> Tina's doing more socialising inside. Um, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Lots of love. Goodbye. Ciao for now. Goodbye. Bye.